Hello, welcome back. My name is Monica, and in this video, I am gonna discuss team versus company manage projects. It's very important to understand the difference between the team and the company manage projects if you really want to choose a right project types for your project. I have worked with several organizations and I have found the organizations and teams get frustrated when they choose the wrong project types. I would request you to please watch this video till the end so that you can choose the right project type. So without any further ado, let's jump into the video. This is my Jira cloud and I am going to create a new project so that I can show you where you will see uh, the option for choosing the team and a company manage project. So I'll go to the project menu and I'll click on a create project. And here I am, you can see we have the project templates here. I'll go with a scrum. I will click on the scrum and here I'll choose this template. So I will click here. I will choose a project type. You can read here. You will need to create a new project if you decide to switch project types later. So here you have to choose the project types very carefully because it is very hard to transitions between team managed projects to the company managed project and company to team. It's very complex and it creates lot of mesh. So if you want to save your life or if you want to save your Jira instance for lot of mesh, then please choose a right project types. Before explaining the difference between the team and the company manage, I just want to give a little overview about what is team manage and what is company manage. You can understand the definitions of the team and the company with their name. Team manage means where the team can control their own working process and they can manage the project itself. And company manage where you need an expert person or a Jira admin person who will help you to manage your project a team manage project you know where the team know how to access the jira and they know how to create the project and they just want a simple quick uh, you know setup and installation they want simplified configurations they don't need any kind of complexity customized workflow and etc they will go with a team manage project and if you want the customized workflow complex workflow you know different type of issue types although you can also create the issue types in the team manage as well but they you know you have the less power in the uh, team manage but in the company manage you have the overall control on the workflow issue type scheme permissions schemes custom field configurations so you can go with a company manage project if you want the you know overall control and if you want the expert configurations complex configurations and a standardized permissions schemes for your company now we will see what is the difference between team and a company managed project. So here we are, you can see we have this purple and blue differences. So purple is for the team and this blue for the company. If your team wants to control their own working processes and practices in a self-contained space, then they can go with the team manage. And if your team want to work with the other teams across many projects in a standard way, and you want the standard schemas and standard fields, then you can choose a company managed project. And in the team managed project, we have a simplified configurations, but in the company managed, we have the expert configurations. Team managed simplified configuration means get up and running quickly with the simplified configurations. You don't need to do anything. You just guarded with the sim uh, simplified configurations. You can just create a project and start the working. But and in a company managed project, you need a person who will help you with the configurations, customizations and the any other uh, changes or a requirement that you want to implement with your Jira. In a company manage, we have lot of flexibility to change the Jira as per our business requirements. Now the next one is anyone on your team can set up and maintain. Yes, the team managed projects are very easy. So anyone in a team can set up and maintain the project easily. But if 
we will talk about the company manager then set up and maintained by your jira admins it means you will really help a jira expert or a jira admin who will set up and maintain your project the next one is setting do not impact other project yes in a team manage project if you are doing a setting in your project they will not impact with the other projects but in a company managed project type we have the standardized configuration shared across the projects it means your jira expert or a jira admin will create a standardized configurations for the permissions schemes you know and the any other security schemes issue types workflows etc and then he and she will use those configurations with the other projects as well now the next one is easy set up for issue types and custom fields yes it is very easy to set up the issue types and the custom fields in a team manage but it don't have much power if you want the complete control over the issue types and custom fields if you want the more configuration and flexibility then you should go with the company manage project in a team manage project we have simple configurations for multiple workflows but in the company manage projects we have the customized workflow statuses and the issue transition in the company manage project we have more things to customize we have more control so if you want the simple configurations not the uh, much control you can go with the team based otherwise you can go with the company managed projects now the next one is access level permissions in a team managed project we have the access level project but in a company managed project we have the detailed permission schemes you can create your own permissions and add it, uh, the permissions as per your business requirements if i'll talk about the advanced features then in the team manage project we have some essential features only we don't have the you know advanced features etc but in the company manage project we have advanced features we have all the powers and features that a jira have when we can customize it in a much more way as compared to the team manage project now we'll come to the basic road maps if you uh want a basic road map you know just only epic and stories will so and it will look like a you know uh chart you know again chart type uh, so you can go with a team managed project and but if you want the advanced road map then you should create a company managed project advanced road map you know it's a very good thing to create a road map and it's a great features i personally use it a lot and it will come with the premium only not the standard one now the next one is only show your project's issues on your board in the team managed projects you can only see your project issues on the board but in a company managed project you can pull the issues from anywhere from the jira instance so you can pull the issues from the other projects on your board so it's really a great feature and if i'll come with the reporting then in the team managed project we have few and essential agile reports but if we'll come to the company managed projects then we have comprehensive agile reporting and you know if you are working as a product owner as a scrum master or as a project manager you need a comprehensive reporting you so that you can check the progress of your story you can check the progress of your team and the product as well so this is the difference between a team manage and a company manage project i hope now you can choose your project type perfectly if you have any questions related to this video then feel free to comment into the comment box area thank you so much for watching have a great day